Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and thank you for uh, stopping in please subscribe and uh, I had the sound turned down so you might not hear me at first uh, please subscribe and hit the like button if you like um, during his speech announcing his 2024 presidential campaign on Tuesday evening former President Donald Trump made some strong promises to the American people about the actions he would take regarding the border crisis during his second term. Uh, speaking at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Springs, Florida, uh, Trump began his speech by saying that America's comeback starts right now. That's good to hear. We still got two years. Mm. He then discussed his accomplishments in his first term and criticized President Joe Biden for destroying the progress that he had made. Joe Biden had abol abolished America's borders. We are going to restore and secure American borders just like we had them before, Trump said, asserting that the left's advo advocacy for opening the borders and the actions taken by the Democrats to hinder his progress in securing the border had stopped him from completing the border wall. Trump vowed to end, catch, and release, and reinstate his remain in Mexico policy. Within moments of my inauguration, catch and release will be gone forever, the former president said. Remain in Mexico was so important. We will begin the process of safely removing the illegal alien criminals that have been unlawfully allowed into our country. We have no choice. He then argued that by restoring border security, we will stop the flow of deadly drugs and horrible human trafficking, which both have been set upon us like never before. Trump went on to say that he will undo the damage done by the lefts to fund the police movement while launching a national campaign to dismantle the gangs and wage war upon the cartels. We will give our police back their authority, resources, power, legal protection, and we will give them back their respect. He said, they're great people. Yes, they are. When they put on that uniform and that badge and they leave for work in the mornings, afternoons, or the midnight shift, they don't know if they're going to come back home or not. Is that a fact? That's a fact. I will immediately launch No Holes Barred national campaign to dismantle the gangs and clean out the nest of organized street crime, Trump continued. We will wage war upon the cartels and stop the, fen the fentanyl and deadly drugs. I'm hoping I pronounce that right. Fentanyl and deadly drugs from killing 200,000 Americans per year. Oh my God. I didn't realize it was that many. I know a lot of young people have, have gone from it, passed away, left their families just devastated and I will ask Congress for legislation to ensuring that drug dealers and human traffickers every drug dealer during his or her life on average will kill 500 people with the drugs they sell not to mention the destruction of families we are going to be asking everyone who sells drugs gets caught selling drugs to receive the death penalty. It's about time. I don't go for the death penalty, but where does it say uh, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth? You know? Destroying our young people. It's got to stop. And if it comes down to the death penalty to stop this horrible thing happening to our young people and that trafficking, children being kidnapped and then put in that trafficking circle to be used and abused by old men or middle-aged men or young men, whatever, it doesn't matter. We have got to have something to stop slow this stuff down and wouldn't it be wonderful if it came to a complete stop but crime never does 
But if you can get that cartel and that trafficking calmed down, maybe someday it may end. If they know that they're going to face that death penalty, you have to stop and think, what would I do? I'd stop whatever I'm doing. Really, right now. But, oh well, we'll see. But I know he means what he says. Trump has never said anything he didn't mean. You know, to protect the American people. The children, the teenagers. And abusing of babies. That's, that's terrible by a, their own father. Brother. Mother, even. Sickening. These people are sick. It's got to stop. Okay, let me go on here. Uh, now, I'm going to do this. I lost one video last night, and I think I know why. So, I'm going to go on the same way of doing that video last night. I'm going to try to redo it tonight, if I can remember <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Unless I'm doubling up here, and if I am, please forgive me. Please forgive me. But this was the Nevada County under scrutiny over mail-in ballots. Ballots. Not balance. Ballots. And this, this is something else. You know, as of 2020, concerns about mail-in ballots and their impacts on elections remain alive and well. Now, if you hear static in this video, every time I charge my phone, from my computer. It does this. Why it does this? I don't know. I talked to Finger Hut yesterday and I was really upset and told him how much trouble I've had with this computer since I bought it. Well, your warranty ain't no good because you didn't buy it. Good heaven's sakes alive. I bought a computer and I bought a desk. I'm not going to buy them warranties. That'd make two payments on me. I'm lucky to handle one and get it cut down and paid off. The way things have been going for all the American people right now that aren't rich, we're having a hell of a time and I was done nothing to help us. Iowa has not said anything but one thing and that was when they first got that money from the government. And I repeated this in another video, but I'm going to repeat it again. Their exact words was, we're not going to be in a hurry about giving this money out. In other words, you people, you don't need nothing. We've got other more important things to do than you people in Iowa. Talk about being upset? Oh yes, I was very upset. All right, let's get back to this one now. Uh, as of 2020, concerns about mail-in ballots, their impacts on elections, remain alive and well. In some states, there have been issues with these ballots being mailed out in masse and without solicitation. Now, I remember I spelled out that E-N, N, masse, M-A-S-S-E. Not sure what that meant, but... Uh, uh, I might be mailed out in uh, bundles, maybe, or without solicitation. I don't know. Following this were reports of voters getting multiple ballots, in addition to ballots with the wrong names. Unfortunately, not all states have taken action to ensure that safeguards and procedures are put in place with mail-in ballots. It is for this reason that the Clerk County, Nevada, is facing issues that worry many Americans in the conservative movement. Trouble on the horizon in Clark County. The handwriting on mail-in ballots and the handwriting on their envelopes do not always match. Now that's odd. <clears throat> in some cases, ballots and adjoining envelopes with different handwriting are being accepted in the county's signature verification process. See, some of them machines are okay in all this stuff because they don't recognize Evidently, the difference in the signatures, of course not. How, I don't know. That'd take a big machine to do that, wouldn't it? 
you know. But when you get these uh, papers to fill out for everything, you have to use a black ink pen or a blue ink pen. Now, them machines can decipher that. So I guess maybe they could tell the difference. I don't know, but this raises red flags since the purpose of this process to make elections secure. Unfortunately, there is much room for the process to be abused. For instance, a journalist in Clark County discovered the ballots were mismatched, envelope signatures are different, to reject under Nevada law. Therefore, this means the same signature in certain cases can be accepted on multiple envelopes. Verification process in Clark County fails to include critical safeguards beyond signatures. In Georgia, authentication of mail-in or absentee ballots requires a, a distinctive indicator, such as part of a voter's driver's license number. Coincidentally, uh, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, a Democrat in Nevada, has been called the winner over GOP challenger Adam Lag Laxalt due to mail-in ballots that largely went in her favor. This race was also pivotal in Democrats keeping the Senate for the next two years. A need for reform. Some Americans have called for the rejection of mail-in ballots altogether, bearing extenuating circumstances for voters who are physically unable to come to the polls. That would hurt, but I don't know. I don't have the brains to figure that stuff out. <laughs> but it's not right. However, others are calling far, for far more oversight and reform on how these ballots are managed. This is a serious problem for many conser conservatives who question how reliable and honest elections are these days. Well, you can't blame them. You know, the various discrepancies in how mail-in ballots are handled nationwide are made worse when election results are delayed for day on end. Ultimately, mail-in ballot reform is only one step towards fixing the general public's considerable skepticism about the integrity of elections. Something's got to be done, you know. And, you know, I know we've all heard, too, that sometimes dead people vote. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'll be back.